How's it going, guys? This is Zeke here from Zeke's Cast, also Zeke's Comics and Games. And if this is your first time joining us here on our YouTube channel, we're going to be discussing a variety of different things here in the store. Uh, basically, today's conversation is a really quick review about the Conquest Last Argument of Kings slash First Blood app. Uh, it just released today, and I kind of wanted to go over a little bit with you guys ahead of time. So this app is absolutely free. You can get it on iOS or Android, and it's a and I think it's also on the web. But it's a fantastic brand new app for free. Uh, I've used it since beta uh, about a week and a half ago. I got to use it, and I found that it was really, really uh, very, very simple and very good compared to a lot of different uh, wargaming tabletop apps. So primarily, we're just going to kind of discuss the app today a little bit with you guys. So uh, as we go into this, you know, if you guys have questions on the YouTube channel, you guys can comment or let us know if there's anything you'd like to know about it. Uh, but yes, yeah, so before we get into that, Make sure you guys check us out on Zeke's Cast. Subscribe to us. It helps us out with the algorithm. You guys have heard the phrase from all the different YouTube channels. You know, like, subscribe, and share. And then, of course, we have our Discord server, facebook.com slash ZekeCG. If you want to see our Facebook account, we have Zeke's Comics and Games.com, where you guys can see a little bit more about the store. Uh, but, yeah, so this app is really good. Not going to lie to you guys. I was pretty impressed with it when I got to try it out in the beta. The uh, browsing faction section is super strong very simple very clear cut nice color combo scheme for each individual faction today we're going to just have a couple pictures up of various uh things so uh, we what i really liked about it was you know picking i'll pick the dwegum here so the dwegum have a lot of different uh data sheets that you guys can take a look at but it's really nice on these apps where they have the little eyeball icon where you can click it open real quick get to see what the actual ability is. If you're not sure what a term is, there's a search function at the top that works really well. And the overall responsiveness of the app between this and like example, hitting back and going through the Wadroon, uh, same thing. It's very simple. You can click through it pretty fast. I think there's only been a couple bugs here and there that people have been reporting today. And there's just a couple different uh, data sheets that don't have out. So like Wadroon right now don't have chieftains and veterans yet. Uh, that should be coming soon. But you guys can make your army lists. Uh, it doesn't delete them like we used to have to have that issue on the web page. If you were logged in, it would actually delete your army list sometimes if you're trying to print it. Uh, but the lists have stuck together and it's been really, really nice and have been uh, it's been very efficient. I think that's the biggest review I can give you for the app is that the app is very, very efficient. It's It, it doesn't slow down. I've used the Age of Sigmar app and the Warhammer 40,000 app. I think the only other app I've ever used that was really good was the Infinity app uh, for the Infinity tabletop game. And there's been some other ones out there that I've tried, like Battlescribe and stuff that could be a little clunky. Obviously, this is only dealing with one system. But, you know, if you look in here, you guys can click through, check your relics, check your stats, your, your points. And not everything's perfect. Um, today, for example, going back to browsing factions here while I'm recording, the there's a listing for certain units in the game that have different keywords so like in the the rules online the inferno automata are actually brutes light brutes but in the app they're under as light infantry so that's a small typo issue uh, where we need to figure out what's actually what it means so i still recommend obviously using the rule books that they provide online for free to make sure that your units are doing what they're supposed to be doing but this app is absolutely great. And if you're somebody who's brand new to Conquest or you just want to, you know, obviously if you want to check it out, check out the factions, it's a great, since it's free, it's a great way to just go in, kind of look at the units before you buy them, click through them, get an idea of what their, um, what their data does and basically all their stat blocks and things like that. And it really is a seamless transition, uh, especially at the top right of the corner, there's a first blood, uh, there's, a, excuse me, there's a conquest symbol at the right corner that you can click that can switch between first blood and conquest last argument of Kings real seamlessly. So it's really nice too. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I know they talked about it being a companion app and that it's going to be something that they want to expand upon possibly in the future with maybe adding there's rules in there. Maybe they put scenarios in. I'm going to be speculating on some of that, but they can also add things like lore and anything they want. It's not just a gaming app. It's a companion app. So it's a little bit of everything is the plan, but I think for a launch and how seamless this thing is, especially it doesn't cost anything. I, I, I mean, I got to give it at least a nine out of 10. I mean, I, I don't like rating stuff like that, but if you're really being honest about using a app to play a game, it's very good. And 
I have no complaints other than a couple just hiccups here and there that are going to happen when you have launches. And the Parabella team has always been about trying to produce really good content for their community. So this is another prime example of things I think they've done right. So yeah, so I'm real excited for you guys. You definitely should check it out. I think it's definitely worth your time to download it, especially if you're playing Conquest. And then if you're somebody who's brand new to the, the game that we've been carrying for a couple of years, it's a good way for you to kind of just get an idea of what the faction's play style is and what they do. It, it is lacking the overall army abilities. Um, that is something that I, I did notice. It did not have, at least unless I'm clicking through it improperly. But like in First Blood, for example, the skirmish game, you have like two or three faction abilities that I didn't really see when I was looking for it. So that is something I would definitely tell you guys. You should like, you know, still have your rule book nearby or write that down and download it. That's something I would recommend to the team if they're listening or if anybody happens to read Discord when we talk about these things that they should definitely check out and work on. So, yeah. So thanks, guys, for watching this uh, or listening to this video. And uh, I hope you guys tune in soon. We'll be hosting Zeke's cast. Uh, it'll be another podcast coming up that will be discussing – more in depth about just overall what the store's up to and the plans coming up this summer. It's not just Conquest themed. This is Conquest themed. Uh, but we are producing quite a bit of Conquest content on purpose. We're working with Parabellum directly to try and bring some eyes to the First Blood skirmish game since a lot of people online post mostly about the last argument of Kings, which is the main game. So you're going to see a lot of Conquest content coming out for us because, you know, we really love it. We really want to promote it, and a lot of people aren't doing that. So, yeah, check out the app, guys. Thanks for listening, and I will talk to you guys again very soon.